Hey yo guys, today I'm going to be showing, showing you guys my new application, Tropax SE. This is the one development, it's nowhere near finished, I plan on adding a bunch of new features like being able to change the timestamps and being able to choose what trophies you want on Yacht, but this is just a proof of concept to show you what I can do. So, when you open up, you will have a list of all your games. These aren't actually all your games, these are just all games that I have in the trophy app. Because I can't, I couldn't really get a list of all your games because then some of them wouldn't be in the trophy app and I'll get the MPCOM sign, which is important. So, if I click on one of these, let's say Reaver 3, Neptune New Reaver 3, um, app will then prepare to will then um, do some trophy patch like stuff and then it will set up the trophy set. And then it will proceed to unlock every single trophy in the trophy set. Now, I will update this so that way you can choose what trophy to unlock. And you'll be able to change your timestamps as well. But for now, this is just a nice little proof of concept to show I can in it I can un, un, I can open a trophy set for basically any game I want. So this has a couple of advantages. Once this finishes, I'll just show you. And one of the advantages is that we don't have to rely on the game to do all the trophy initializing and the initialization crap, like the register context and the setup. So, we can use games that normally would not work with drop packs. For example, Sword Art Online, Hyrule Fragment. This game does not work with drop packs. If you've tried it, you've probably gotten an error. But, if I try it within drop packs SE, we'll see, it will, it will do the trophy patch or stuff, and then, It'll begin to unlock the original trophy. It's nothing. The reason why this works is because the app is doing the uh, is doing the initialization crap, and the app is registering the context. It's not relying on the game to do it, which is which is what Trop Hacks would do. So it doesn't. So the game can't. No matter what the game does, it's always going to unlock it the exact same way with my app. But with the game, I have to just assume the game's going through a certain way, and if it doesn't any differently, well, it's just not going to work. Which is why a bunch of which is why there's a lot of games that don't work with drop packs, but they will work just fine in this. This should be 100% compatible as long as you can get the um, as long as you can get the game itself to come up in the trophy app, and if you have the game installed, if you uninstall the game that's on trophy app, it's not going to work very well. So yeah, and just to show it off one more time, I'm going to do. Um, had to mention it to any Weaver 4. It's going to do trophy patch or stuff, and then it's going to set up trophies, and then it's going to go through and unlock all trophies in the trophy set. Alright, now we'll see if I come out of this, and I go up to my trophy application, oh, wrong button, and we launch it, you'll see, nope, I don't want to enable Wi-Fi, see in here, all the games I just unlocked, I in here, and of course, they're all 100%. We yeah, accept this one. For some reason, this one, I don't think I did this one. I did these ones, though. Yeah. Did these ones. These ones haven't done, so they're just 0%. But these ones, I did do, so they're around 100%. So, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye!